All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! I'm round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Introducing the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kill. Nice body to the right on the elbow. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. 
head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice straight punch. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, missed on that one. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Takedown defense holds up. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop the Oh, big punch land. Three minutes. Left hand punch with the clinch. Massive knee to the body land. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Ooh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. What a fantastic person. Great takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big and kick. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Just misses with the left hook. Start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Second round underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at him with his hips into that kick. Much 
Judge improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to hammer that lead leg. Right punches there. Look at the angle of that nice body. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Real quick leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lands with the right hand. Nice leg kick lands. Big head kick lands. Back and forth we go. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Blocks the shot. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice punch by Luke. Just out of range with that left hook. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, big shot land. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. Just messing on the high kick there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Nice punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, he's cutting down the side. Beautiful leg. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch to punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Right hook to the head, what? Big head kick. Just misses with the right. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his... Whoa! He's, He's hurt bad. and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice one-two there. Knee to the body. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Big ball from the man. Now he gets back to range. This is it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, that's the end of round number two.
All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw his full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller. Nice punch over the top. Oh. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Nice loop and punch. Oh! Oh! Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Wow. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Connects with a right. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, big head kick land. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Great punch. that jab. Oh. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, no. Trying to stay in this fight. Beautiful punch. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Got the single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. And he connects with a punch there. Oh, and kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. 
All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, misses with the jab. Huge strike right there. Not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice head kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time to pass that his boxing look this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Punch coming, it's blocked. He loaded up on that guy too. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Left hand punch from the clinch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Big body kick. He's got him right here. Nice oh! Game of inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that's a nice strike. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. The right hook to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lance flush with that right hand. Just misses with the right hook. Punch over the top. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the Liver kick. Good stick. What a body kick. Under two minutes now to go. Nice right hand. Very bad. Oh, big left. 
finish. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, his opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrill in the ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Counters with a right hand. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve to be. That's what will stop for this contest. At four minutes, 25 seconds, of round number four. Declaring the winner by... Martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's gonna get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case.